Hello, blessed people. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. How are you? This is a blessed day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it for His goodness, for His loving kindness. I want to speak to some people live. I decree that you make it. I decree that God will deliver you from that problem you are facing. I believe I I I I, I declare that God will favor you this week. God will empower you. God will supply all your needs. God will deliver you from the power that are stronger than you. Lord will fight your battle. The Lord will be your backbone. I don't know where you the state you are now. If you are in the verge of losing it, that I can't continue. Things are not working the way I expected. Let me tell you, hold on. A little wide way is what wide waiting. A little a, a little waiting will do you no harm. Just wait, the Lord will see you through. The God of Shedra, Mesha, and Benigo will see you through. The God of Abraham will see you through. The God of Jabez, there was a Jabez, a man called Jabez in the Bible. He prayed, call upon the name of the Lord, and Lord avenge for him. He will see you through. The God that delivered the children of Israel from the foreign land, from the slavery land, and bring them to a land of promise. That same God is here on high this morning. He will deliver you. He will supply all your needs. Maybe you are into a business and the business is not functioning. Well, let me tell you, I speak to that business. That business will function henceforth. The mighty hand of God will rest upon that business and that business will flourish. Maybe you are in the hospital. You are sick. You are downcasted. You don't even know what to do doing you. The dog will not even fathom what is wrong with you. I'm telling you, you are healed. By his tries, you are healed. It is way for you to live a long life. The Bible says... In, say, with long life will I satisfy you and show you show you my salvation. The Lord will satisfy you with long life. You will not die in the state. You will live to declare the words of the Lord. Maybe you are looking for finance. Maybe your home is not settled. You have a broken home. Your home is not in good ten the way you want to be. The Lord will rectify everything. The Lord will put everything in order because He's a compassionate God. He's a faithful God. He's a loving God. He's a mighty God. Say so the thought you have towards you is a thought of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. That is the mind of God towards us. He has a good thought towards us. God wake up this morning. All that is taking a battle is how we are going to make it. I'm going to follow this, my daughter. I'm going to enrich her. I'm going to supply her. I'm going to take her to where, take her to a, a, a place that she has ever dreamed of going to. Maybe you have applied for a visa. You want to leave the country. It's good. You are going for a Bobina pastor. It's a good thing. And it's not forthcoming. I'm telling you this week, I ask the God of wonder, the God that can't fade and holds the hands of the earth, and has that you release that visa. And everything will work in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are sick, you are afflicted, you are afflicted, you are depressed. I ask that the healing power of God will rain upon you. If you are depressed, the God will comfort you, the great comforter. He will comfort you and deliver you and set you free and heal you from burden, from affliction, from oppression. Maybe you are in the time of giving it up. You have to commit suicide. No, don't do that. Don't kill yourself because you're not the one that creates your life. You didn't create. God brought you for the, brought into this life for a purpose. Don't, then, let me tell you, everything will be rosy. Everything will be rosy. The, everything will fall in, in green pasture. Everything will fall in a, in, a, in a good shape for you. Don't kill yourself. You don't want you. are so special in the hands of God. You don't need to die. Death is nothing to you. You have to come up, encourage yourself. The good God will supply your needs. He will protect you and preserve you and uphold you. You will make it. Just say to yourself, I will make it. I declare this morning that you will make it. Yes, I declare this morning that you will make it. You will achieve purpose. You will be what God wants you to be. I declare this morning that you will make it. You will make it. You will make it. Just say to yourself that I will make it. I am for Jesus. I will make it. I will succeed. I will succeed. And maybe you are there. You are, you are, you are not going to marry. You are, not, you, you, are, you are quite advanced. You are quite matured as a single lady, as a single, as a single brother. You are not. You have not getting married. You don't have any part. Let me tell you, is the God that give it to all man liberally. He said it is not good for a man to be alone. It is not good for a woman to be alone. That is God ordained. Two shall come together and they shall become one. They shall decree a thing and they shall be established. Yeah, that is God will for you. You will get married. God will give you the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh. He will not pass you by. He will give you exactly time. At exact exact time, he will give it to you. He will not give you a man that will that will destroy you. That you will be think that I, I would have just stayed single instead of getting married. No, he will give you a man that will cherish you. He will give you a woman that will honor you, that will respect you, that will adore you. And two of you together, you will put 10,000 to flight and you march on to V2. Thank you. This is my morning motivation to you this morning. Take this prayer into cognizance, the time and meditate on it and let it. And before you know, in no time, it will, 
we start replicating your life we start replicating your life and the good god will bless you you are blessed you are wonderfully made you are specially made you are wonderful you are the apple of his eyes you know what is apple of his eyes this white thing this black, black thing inside his eyes inside my eyes that's why in the eyes of god tell me how would satan get there how would wish his and in your father's house in your foundation in your village go inside there and plug it away from the eyes of god they can't do that yes because your life is hid in christ in god you understand it? Your life is in the Christ, and Christ is in God. How we, before they will kill you, they have to kill Christ. Before they will kill Christ, they have to kill God. And it's, it's impossible. They can't do that. So you are, you will live. You long life, you will live. A long life, you will live. You will declare the word of the Lord, and the fullness and the blessing of God will be your portion in Jesus' name. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. Bye.